So last night I'm answering a question on Facebook about trying to do light boxes on an Ender, basically doing multiple colors on one layer. And there were a lot of comments, it's impossible, you can't do it. And I was like, no, I know it's possible. I'd played with this um, in in the past, and the issue I had, let me, let me show you what issue I was having here. I, I whipped up this little model just to test this out. Let me do, 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 put this face down and look at our preview. The issue I would have, I'm running Clipper on my Ender. And if I go to, actually on this one, because I'm starting with my second material, the very beginning, uh, there's going to be a reference right here, line 156, it says T1. That, that T1 is telling it to use my second material. It starts with T0 for the first one and then adds up from there. This print job would fail before it even starts. That T1 would get sent to the printer, it would not know what to do with it, and it would scrap the print job. Uh, but let's assume my color order was proper to where it started with T0, which is what it expects. It would come through and print this out, and when it gets to the part right here where it changes to the black material, if I look through here, I've got my M600, which is my color swap, and then a reference to T0. Well, again, if I had had this the other way around, where my second material is my second actual material here, this would be a T1. The print job would fail at this point. So it would have printed all of this and then scrapped the job. That was a problem for me. It was solvable. I could go through and just do a uh, open the G-code in Notepad and just replace all T1, T2, T3 with T0 commands, and it would work. But... That was time consuming and I didn't enjoy doing it. And besides, I have the bamboo, so I just kind of gave up on this. I had at one point put a fake tool head macro in Clipper to tell it to uh, change any other references to T0 or just accept them. And uh, it, it pragmatically went through to basically trick the printer into thinking it was okay. That didn't really work so great. So, yeah. Um, anyways, I got to that question and said, yeah, you can do it. And I opened up work and realized like, oh, I'm way out of date, got it updated. And I noticed inside of here, if you go into your printer settings, that there's this new checkbox. There's the single extruder multi-material had always been here, but this manual filament change that was new. And I read through the tooltip and went through and actually looked at the article and said, this is really cool. Cause when I check that, if I come back and slice my plate again, Everything is now T0. So if I come and find where that black material starts, where's my M600? Should be right here. Here's that M600. There's a comment. So the printer doesn't actually parse this saying manual tool change to T0. And if I go back and look at the very beginning, wherever it was before, we're not actually going to have that reference to T1. It's just commented out, manual tool change T1. So the actual command processor in the printer is not looking at that. It's just a comment for our benefit. So no longer is it having to process as this T1, T0, which means this job would work. So I'm able to print that layer without an issue. And then just like it would on a bamboo printer or whatever, it's going to do this the same process where it'll start with the, the last material and you can do the the functional multi-material on one layer swaps like you would do everywhere else. I said, okay, that's fun. I'm, I want to do this. And that's why I made this little model just something quick and easy to print to see how it would work. And, well, let's see how that goes. All right, here we go. So we can see we got the start of it there. My M600 is executing. Ready for me to load filament. So I'll do that. Alright, I switch it over from the glow in the dark to the black. See a little string hanging out. Resume. Got a little blob there, I'll have to figure that out. And there you have it. 
and just proof that this is the same way the bamboos print. It's going to finish up with the first layer here. I don't think you can quite see it. Finishes the first layer, does a couple little touches. And on to the second layer. It'll finish the second layer with the black, and then do filament change to glow in the dark, just like the bamboos do. And there you have it. Definitely possible, definitely can be done. Like I was saying though, it wasn't fun having to do, in this case, six filament changes by hand. And I had a couple quality issues, but those could be tuned out in time. So, yeah. If you want to do them, Slicer choice definitely matters. Work with something like Orca, it'll be a lot easier than Kira. Um, but yeah, you're going to have to make a long list by hand of what, what filament goes in and when in order to make it work.